Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today and this is an update to a story that I've already covered. But today the Holston Rapper Nines, aka Courtney Freckleton, 31, has been jailed alongside Jason Thompson, 35, for 28 months each. This has been a big surprise to a lot of people because Nines was on an importation charge of 28 kilos of cannabis imported from Spain and Poland using Encro chat phones. The chart topping musician guilty to drugs and money laundering charges and they were sentenced at Harrow Crown Court and the judge Rosa Dean said it's a waste of all that talent to be sat in Wormwood Scrubs. Last year Nines topped the charts with his record Crabs in a Bucket and he was named Best Hip Hop Act at the Mobile Awards. The court heard the pair was in involved in a successful bid to import the class b drug and another attempt was also made but intercepted certain things were actually revealed since the conviction and jailing and what they have revealed is that his name on encro chat was big boss so for example in any sort of chat room on the application you had to have a name and obviously nobody would use their real names there was some unusual names in there but yeah nines was simply big boss and the prosecution also revealed in court that the money laundering charge relates to a 98,000 pound debt that is the value of the drugs and they used bitcoin to buy the cannabis so that is a cryptocurrency they used to purchase the drugs and this is something that we didn't know before we didn't know that crypto was involved in this case and something that I definitely want to highlight in this video is the fact that Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies as a whole are not like EncroChat they are not encrypted to the degree that they are untraceable everything on the Bitcoin is on the blockchain and the blockchain keeps a record of everything so as soon as anybody tries to look into your records they would definitely find where the money went and where it come from so just because gangs are using it to transfer big amounts of money, it doesn't mean that it's untraceable. It just means that it's an easier way to transfer massive amounts of cash as opposed to transferring it around the world in suitcases and putting people on planes. Cryptocurrency has just made it easier to do the initial exchange. But if there's ever an investigation into money laundering, then it can backfire on people very bad. They also revealed as well, which we didn't know, is that they imported the cannabis into the country via boilers. So this is where you'll heat up your bath in a house in the UK. And these come from Poland. Nines from central London and Thompson from Barney in North London were arrested in June last year in raids across London and Boreham Wood in Hertfordshire because somebody said that he was arrested. They thought this was recent. Nines was arrested a while ago. This was the initial raids in relation to EncroChat when they were intercepting all the messages. And I've got a whole playlist on EncroChat with every single element of the situation explained and the dynamics and also how it works and how it happened. And of course, I can understand why some people would be confused as to why his sentence was so low. To be honest, I was initially as well, but the more you read about it, the more you can find examples of how you do get a reduction. So firstly, you'll get a reduction in your sentence for pleading guilty because it saves them money. And then after that, you've got the element of the fact that he's a successful rapper. So he's a number one artist. This is a good thing. If you go to court and you've got a job, that is brilliant. The court want that. They don't want to send you to prison if they don't have to. And they definitely don't want to ruin someone's life if they have an opportunity to get better. And something else that I read in the court papers, the judge said that Nines had some of the best references in court in relation to his character. So in the pre-sentence report, what will happen is anything that's ever happened to you in your life, for example, mental health, death in the family, all these different things that can go in your favour when you're explaining your case to a, to a judge before they sentence you. And this is also another factor, as I spoke about in the other video, was the fact that Nines has had a very difficult childhood. He lost his brother and his father also passed away. So this would have a massive contributing factor to any sentencing of anyone, to be honest, because mental health and your upbringing really does help. The defence said that Nines is deeply ashamed that he's let people down and spoke of his great heart, which he said was evident for his work that he'd done in the community in Brent and across London with young people. I've never heard somebody say that either, that I've never heard a judge reference the character so well. So this must have obviously gone in his favour. 
I'm happy for his family. I'm happy that he's able to go home to his children and not spend the majority of his 30s in prison. So this was just something I wanted to clarify a few details and don't forget to check out the other videos that I've done on this subject in order to understand the whole story. I really appreciate you joining me today and thank you to everybody that has ordered on the website merchandise. I'll be sending out the hats in the next two days and I'll be giving shout outs as well on the next live for everybody that has ordered. So please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.